We gotta start getting some order in these motherfuckers shop. I can't be everywhere. Y'all motherfuckers supposed to respect her like it's me. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Listen, what the fuck is that supposed to be? I'm not supposed to respect her like a Jew. What no. are you trying to say no. right now? She's a like, no, no, I'm stop! Shut up! Because he's looking at me! Yeah. What are you saying right now? That we have to respect her like it's you, no. and you just met her. No. Exactly! No. Shut up! Look at this table. Yeah, like, this is yeah, really what's up. Right now. Our names are not on it, so I guess we could just sit. Right. Okay. So tonight is the rehearsal dinner for Puma and Kwani's wedding. I don't really know what a rehearsal dinner is. I haven't been to too many weddings, but let's see how this works out. Yo, what the is going on? How you late to your own rehearsal dinner? I was with Sassy right before this, and, like, I, I really know that there's, like, drama going on. Yeah. Like, a whole bunch of drama. Hi! Sassy! Hennessy! Oh I found my some! God. <laughs> Can you enlighten us on what's going on? Are they fighting? Not with each other, but it was just a little tiff with Kwani's mom. I don't know, man. I don't even know, like, the full story. All I know is that she bugged out because I guess her room hadn't gone through or something like that. She couldn't get in contact with Kwani for, like, two hours. I guess Kwani's mom showed up at the hotel with Tamia while we were at the beach. And by the time we got back, she threw the biggest hissy fit I've ever seen in my life. She throws the baby bag all the way across the floor, talking about how she's not going to watch Tamiya anymore. And then she even threatened Kwani, telling her that she's going to punch her in her face and that she's not going to show up to the rehearsal dinner and that she's not showing up to the wedding. The worst part about it is that it all went down in front of Tamiya. OK, let's hold, watch your step, girl. Oh. Hey, guys. Hey there. Oh, this is pretty. You look beautiful. Thank Welcome you. to your wow. rehearsal dinner. Okay, I'm gonna sit next to you. <laughs> Puma the creator. All right, there you go, there you go, you back. You back. Oh, this is some fancy <laughs> What is that? I hope this is not dinner. Is this dinner? No, it's the appetizer. It's the appetizer. Oh, okay. So is everything okay? Is everybody good? Are we all okay? Yeah, we're good. I feel really fancy right now. I'm a little drunk. Act like I got some class, mother Wait, why are them two empty chairs there? Who we missing? Really, Teddy? Like, really? Don't you have any type of tact at all? Like, the two empty chairs at the table are for Kwani's mom and her grandmother. It's just like, I'm gonna shake him. Like, why would you say anything? Was this dinner planned, Puma? What's yeah. The what, what was the two extra chairs for? Hey, What's the matter? Puma. You all right? Hey, 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 let's let it out. Don't hold it in, breathe. Breathe. Let it out. I can't believe my day is really like this right now. But this is supposed to be her, her greatest day ever. And her mother just suddenly flipped the out. Only a really evil, evil human being would do some like this right now, man. I'm sorry that I didn't try to make it any better. I tried, but I made it any worse. You got it? Yeah. I love Kwani to death, man. And I'm not gonna let nobody get in the way of what me and her are trying to achieve. Not her mama, not anybody. It's about us. Y'all okay? No, I do. Yeah. Okay. No, Oh, the biscuits. Yeah, yeah biscuits so always help. All right, guys, I want to make a toast. I'm just gonna make a toast. For her virgin pina colada. I want your virgin pina colada. You know, I love you. Love you and too. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. And I'm so happy, Kwani, you know, that he found someone to settle down with. You're very beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy for y'all. Thank you for having that kid over there. Thank you. Kwani, All right. It's her day. I know. Oh, crap. Hi, hey, mommy. Hey, everyone, this is my grandma and my mommy. Hi, Hi how are you? How are you? Okay, well, I'm here. Thank you. And I'll be here tomorrow. 
I like to give a toast to my daughter Shaquana. Kwani, I love you very, very, very much. And I just hope that you're happy. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Okay. Tell, um... Well, I'd like to make a toast no. to thank everyone. Nah, I'm not good. Thank everybody for coming. I really appreciate it. I love all of y'all. Thank you. Love you too. She's trying to push my buttons and get a rise out of me. You know what? I'm gonna be the bigger person and piece the f*** up out of here. I'm excited to meet your sister. I'm so hyped. It's been long enough. Right. What, almost a year? Almost a year. <laughs> I'm so excited my twin sister Brittany is flying all the way in from Cleveland to meet Alex. Now that we're officially official, it's about time he start meeting my family. She's so cute. I mean, you're cute, so. <laughs> Thank you. I can only imagine. My sister is my best friend, so she's protective of me. And she's been a little concerned about my relationship with Alex since I haven't had the nicest boyfriends in the past. But as soon as she meets him, I know she's gonna love him just as much as I do. So how are y'all twins, but y'all don't look exactly the same? Because we, we not identical, we fraternal. So we was, uh, let's see, it's two different eggs and two different semen. <laughs> and they get pregnant at the same time. Hey, oh. there she go. So cute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. I'm glad you're here. Benini, Alex. Nice, nice to finally meet you. you. A handshake? Yeah, so <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, we got you a shot. Yes. Nice. So, to a new family. Love you, sis. First, we garlic knots with some maple sauce. Would you guys like some garlic knots? No. Mm. <laughs> yeah, he needs to eat more. He's pretty skinny. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Let me see them nails, girl. Oh, those is fire. See, told you this is my twin. <laughs> so enough about me. Let's talk about Alex, who I'm just now meeting in a year. Yeah. It's nice to finally meet you. Oh yeah. You, you're a tattoo artist. Definitely. Seven years strong. Oh, my god. Have you seen his work on Instagram? It's so dope. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, how much money do you make a week? Um, enough to oh my god. cover, you know, what I need to cover. Damn, I knew my sister was concerned about Alex, but like, meet him for a second. Maybe we should just keep it to the basics, like, you know, what's your favorite music, where are you from? Keep it breezy. Take another shot. Cheers. Crazy. To new families, mixing and meeting. And being nice. Mm -hmm. So, Alex, I saw on Instagram you call yourself the vagina slayer, right? Is that all the time, or is that like, when you're single? I'm only her vagina slayer. Okay. Well, yeah, you can see why I would be concerned about that when you're going around calling yourself the vagina slayer. But I mean, you know, I go by Alex. I go mm -hmm. by my, my real Yeah, name. now you're Alex. No, I'm, I'm, I'm always Alex in the streets. But oh, okay. with her, I'm the vagina slayer. Could you see yourself marrying her one day? Um, <laughs> what's happening here? Whoa, sis. Like, I understand the whole protective sis thing, but what's up with the whole 20 questions? So you have a son, I heard. Yes, Cameron. So have you met him? <laughs> Not as of yet. Is there a reason why? Y'all been in each other's life for this long now. I would think she would meet your child by now. <sighs> Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Should we take another shot? You need to relax. Do you even pay child support? All right, Brittany, now you're doing a lot. Like, come on. Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure my sister's not with a bum. So what, you don't trust my judgment or something? Of like... course I don't. Look at your track record. What's with all this? All I'm doing is asking simple questions. You're going mad hard right now, and I feel like you're not really giving her the benefit of the doubt. You can stay in your place and be quiet. You're doing the most right now, like, for real. You are my twin sister. I'm miles away from you. OK, so, so do that sure on just a second okay meeting or something. Do that. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do that the first Don't time do I that meet. right now. That's no, stupid. That's Whoa, my sister's being totally out of line right now. Like, what the I don't know this man. OK, so I feel like I don't feel like I want to eat no more. I'll meet you back at the apartment. Yo, you're really tripping. This did not go no way like I thought it would. Chuck with the smiles. Come on, see, stop looking all grumpy and. Oh 
only way you can sit is if you're smiling, everyone. Come on, brother. I know Caesar's upset about the vandalism thing, but we spent all day cleaning up for the grand opening. So come on, brother, things are looking up. Let's take some shots. Shots, 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 shots. So everybody grab a shot. This shot is to how amazing each and every one of you guys are, and we are gonna get through this. The shop is clean now, even though it was up. We not gonna dwell in that. Do we beef with trash cans? No. Therefore, whoever is against us. With that being said, cheers. Hey. Out the slump. Out the slump. Smile, bitch! Smile. Smile for the kerosene. That's my really in a bad mood. I'm really trying here, C's. Like, I'm paying for shot after shot. I'm trying everything to turn that frown upside down, man. You're like this. And I'm trying to get you like this. You should take a shot, from, like, right kitty, here titty. out of kids' boobs. Kitty, 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 kitty. OK, fine. If taking a shot out of my voluptuous cleavage makes Caesar happy, then of course I'll take one for the team. I know you feel better after that. Yeah, I feel a little better. Okay, my face and kitty titties, yeah, that's gonna cheer me up for a second. So tonight, I'm gonna put a smile on, but tomorrow, I'm gonna find out who up my shot. Thank God for your boobs, kid. I'm glad they had that effect. Ruben Flow! Donna, take a seat at the end of the table next to Teddy. Um, I can't sit by Teddy. He needs a glass of haterade. Bartenders, wow. they're haterade. What the is you talking about? Haterade. I ain't never been a hater in my life. Where they serve that at? I gave Teddy a pass yesterday because we were focusing on opening the shop, but I'm still pissed at the way he treated Jada. I don't understand why Teddy is favoring Tati so damn much. Like, what, you trying to stick it in his Because I don't get it. You kicked Jada out the grand opening, like. Jada wasn't invited to the grand opening. Jada wasn't supposed to be in New Orleans. Kitty invited her. Which was a misunderstanding on Kitty's part. So in all honesty, Jada shouldn't have been at the grand opening. Tiana, don't start that If you were willing to have a conversation with Jada, uh, I'm always willing in, to have so a conversation. Up now. Yeah, stand for something or you're fall for anything. This is the biggest question. Tease, how do you feel about it? You can find somebody for whatever you want. If you don't like the smell of them, you can find them. Is that what you feel, though? First of all, Jada don't do second. I wish I could see your eyes while you're talking to me. Because I don't really know who you're looking at. I'm looking at you, oh, the person that came in here and started this bullshit. Shut the up. I thought you was a <laughs> that could have bitches and not get attached. But you all in your feelings. You fired her for no reason. And she pregnant on top of that. Whoa, wait a minute. She what? Pregnant. Wait, what? Jada pregnant? Yeah, you asshole, she's pregnant. And the baby's George. George. Oh, 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 what? whoa! Bro, 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 like... Damn it, Teddy! The one thing I told you in this life, no baby mothers. You ain't learned from me. Teddy, you got a pregnant mother? This shit ain't mine. That was a liar. Jada's gonna be pissed at this little rumor, but it's nice to see Teddy ass sweat a little bit. Why the fuck am I even sitting here arguing with you? You can eat a too. So you got maybe babies and you mad. Well, you, Jada, and that baby. What is you talking about? You got a fried turkey? I don't know. Kids, you know what you're doing? Because I've huh? seen people blow their houses up. Is this a weed pipe? Listen, I'm gonna drop it in Tell and back me. away. Yo, wait, whose house is this and why the f we in it cooking? Scott said Sky's she knew somebody. Friends. Makes sense. That's right, Teddy. Sky put this all together. Sky came up with the idea for a Friendsgiving intervention. So we can convince Caesar to reopen 113. Sky found this apartment, Sky picked up the food, and Sky invited your dumbass. I 
am not gonna let Sears close the shop that easy. So I even brought little Mr. Kai just to remind Sears that people got mouths to feed at home. What's up, baby? What's up, baby? Hold him for a second, I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh, he's a cutie. I would take him to the park with me. We could get a lot of together. I could say you mine. Hey, everyone. Hi! What's going on? Hi! What's going on? Your body, oh my <laughs> Nikki's been so supportive. When I finally told her that the shop was closed, she just wanted to come out and help however she could. And it seems like ever since she went to get this body done, it's made everything better. Especially with all of this child support stuff with Kathy. And we've been amazing since then. So Nikki, are you gonna show me my dream ass or not? She didn't really get the ass done like that. She mainly oh, no. was- What did you get, the mommy makeover? Yes. Yeah. So Yay, because that's what I said when you didn't, when they said that you didn't get the butt. The, the, the butt, the mommy makeup was just. Well, I got oh. my butt, I got my butt. You, you have, have to remember, to I had ass. my son, Jeremiah, when I was 16. Okay, so we not going to talk about the kid you just had two years ago, I guess. I am seven months pregnant. pregnant. Then if you were seven months pregnant, where is this baby at? That's cool, but just know, we don't want to see you, Nikki. We gonna figure it out, mama. What's your ethnicity? Me? Yeah. I'm a black gal. What's up? Black girl. You, you ain't all black. I am <laughs> all girl. black. No, you ain't. Where? She's just light-skinned, it is all. So then let me say I'm all black. You can. I'm not. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're all black, yeah, I'm sure, and I'm sure that's all your real hair, too. Oh, damn, girl. All right. Even though the shop is closed, we still made a way to come together as a unit. When Caesar come, I think he'll appreciate this. I don't know. This ain't just some kumbaya shit. We gotta be tough with Caesar, and we can't back down until he agrees to open the shop again. That's all that matters to me. Like, that's why you better eat this food and do whatever the you wanna do with this goddamn shop. <laughs> For real. It seems like a good idea because I like to eat, but I said we need to come to some type of conclusion because this whole is whack. It do feel like the family is being divided. Shut up, douchebag. You lucky you even invited to this party. So I was thinking, instead of us showing we could just cook and do it, let's show them we know how to get some money. So I've been looking for a way to try and get back on this good side and show them we all about this business too. It's a mother tattoo convention coming up in Puerto Rico. Yes. So why not show seeds we serious about this business than doing a tattoo right. convention and bringing some money into this mother right. and representing for Black Ink? This convention in Puerto Rico is one of the top conventions in the world. It'll definitely be a good look for Black Ink to be there. One, we can boost the brand. Two, we could definitely make some fast money. And three, we could prove to Caesar that even in a party place like Puerto Rico, we could still be a professional shop. And I know Caesar's with that. But I figured we approach him with it, like, yo, we did it already. We just need you to say, yeah, and we out. I think that'd be better than some pork chops and shrimp. That okay. convention is off the chain. It's really difficult to get into. But if we can, um, hell yes. All right, so food, plan A, we're going to get to Puerto Rico, plan B, and we're going to get the shop back open, plan C. Yes. I think it's a great idea, but I think the puppet would have worked better. You going to um, leave us there because you got the keys to 125th? Um, <laughs> what? I thought oh, this was Friendsgiving. This is Friendsgiving, so we're going to uh, attack every issue that we might have and put it on the table. What's up with you always leaving us like that? Leave like, me out like what? Like, that comment that you made the other day, everyone was offended by right. it. Right, oh, I got like, the keys. I don't know if y'all will. Like, everyone, that, no, Walter nah, was the shoulders? Yeah, yeah, I was a little offended with that. I mean, I it was offended. What I'm saying I, to you is, why do you right. always leave the group? Right. You always seem as though you Rico? are not part of the group. That's a question. You can't answer that? <laughs> I don't feel like apology is in this vocabulary. Like, you better than us. You can't apologize to us, Teddy, for the way you treated us. Right now, it's like, boom. Like, like I'm ready to put in all of his shampoo. Why do it make you so mad, though? Why I'm are you not so mad? mad. You see what I'm conversing about? You keep leaving so your mad. team. You leaving your team makes me so upset. You not getting patronizing. You getting chastised like the rest of your team. It ain't been and that you being way. walking away. It ain't been that well, what way. What you think is always going to stay the way. same? Scott, listen, I hear you, but right now I'm going to need you to calm that attitude of yours down. Like, really check it. We don't need you going there on anybody like you did at camping, all right? Let's stay focused at the task at hand, and that's opening back up 113th. 
You don't respect nobody else's opinion. Nobody else says nothing, and everybody talks about you when you leave. I just say it in front of you. That's the difference between me and everybody else. That don't bother me. All right, then. So we so gonna talk about you then. And it's annoying. So then keep you you do nothing. You don't do and it's annoying, and it makes me feel You're the only one that's mad. What the fuck? No, everybody You're the only one that's mad. Everybody talked about you when you got out of the house. Because I do what the I want. No, we're not going to do what the I want. Of course, Caesar's going to walk in. Jesus Christ, what did I tell you, Scott? I don't give a Ooh, look at this menu. Oh, you know my fat ass gets hungry every second. This is how y'all do it, Blackie. I guess. You know what this is about, what all this, this fanciness is I about. Know. I don't know. She just said, listen, y'all, I want to get everybody together. You know what I mean? Some announcements or some See. like that. Seas has been on a roll with his announcements lately. You know what I'm saying? It's bad enough you already had Kit try to revent 113th. What are the f are you here to tell us, Seas? Because I'm not really trusting this fancy i I'm going to eat, though. I'm going to eat. How you like your don't job, bro? No, it's been cool. Except for A1, that random girl that you hired. A1. What happened? You would know if you would have come to the shop once in the past week. Bitch, shut up. Go weave a hemp necklace or something. Stop trying to be manager. Stop worrying about what the is going on with me. She didn't have a tattoo to do. I don't really know what she was doing there. She was not with you, so I politely told her to leave. OK. Teddy doesn't even care that I fired his employee. This doesn't give a about anything at 113. Caesar needs to fire his ass and make me the manager once and for all. Hey, young man. What's up, bro? How are you? Kitty. And look at number two. <laughs> look at y'all showing up all together. Talk about an entrance. Caesar and Kitty over here looking like Hov and Beyonce before they got on the elevator. You know what I'm saying? Like that old fake fancy, like a power couple and So what's up, Caesar? Where you was coming from? My house. Oh, yeah. Oh. Where you coming from, number two? C's house? <laughs> yo, what are y'all trying to say, yo? I heard you single and ready to mingle. Hey, what are you talking about? I That's know. what I heard, too. I heard that <laughs> little birdie told me. What birdie told you, you that? Hi, guys, this is nice and classy. Hey. what it is. He got this little mother cat nipping next to him, smelling like pee. Cats smell like pee to me. And they suck out baby's breath. She's the devil. And I need him to see a bad bitch sitting next to me. To my right. Poof. Sit right here, friend. Looking like an angel. Allison, you guys. You already know what Teddy Young Bay. Kevin, Allison. Kit, Allison. Caesar, you already know who Allison is because y'all went on a date the other day. Oops. Oh my God. Was that supposed to be a secret? Because I know y'all be seeing a lot of each other. If I finish this drink, I might be all over you. Finish your drink. Y'all was over at the house. I saw y'all in my binoculars. What? And you, you doing a lot of Oh! <laughs> Yo, what? What? Yo, what the guy? You my game up. And you gonna get me killed tonight. My, my apologies. Sorry, not sorry. What is up with this out? Did Sky have to announce it in front of everybody? Of course she did, because she's a messy hoe. All I'm saying is there's a lot of going around the table. And from what I hear about Kit, there's a lot of <laughs> What? If what? I I'm going to be the best at it. I could tell. I knew she was going to do that. OK, Suzanne. Right, she's going to be like, I'm going to be the best. <laughs> like this, like she's going to get a scholarship. Oh! As you all know, we're all under one umbrella. We are all a part of the Black Ink family. Who the f does Kit think she is? Like, or better yet, who the f does Caesar think she is? He ain't even let Duchess speak for him like this. So, Caesar, do you have an announcement for us? Yo, good looking, Kit. No, man, yeah, I need yeah. that little announcement. You can sit down now. I brought all you motherfuckers together to let y'all know, as a family, as we go forward, I'm really starting to think about expanding. Expanding where? Are you trying to take over New York? Not New York, the country. I'm looking to open up another shop outside New York. There's no better time than now with 113 back open with a bunch of talented artists. 125th is making a whole lot of money. 
I figured I got the blueprint to expand this black ink to the next level. It's time to become a mother mogul. Expansion is key right now. But there's certain things that gotta be addressed. Yesterday I asked Kit to go over some branding unification lessons for y'all and y'all mother got twisted. Cause I heard Scott got up and left. She taught us how to pour wine and answer phones, my I've been known how to answer the phone. How many people been coming through there? The point is I want all my shops to feel the same. And that's Kid's job to make one consistent brand. Let's get anywhere. We got to start getting some order in these motherfucking shops. I can't be everywhere. Y'all motherfuckers supposed to respect her like it's me. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Listen, what the is that supposed to be? I'm not supposed to respect her like a Jew. What no. are you trying to say right now? She's a young like, employee. No, no, I'm stop. Shut up, because he's looking at me. Yeah. What are you saying right now? That we have to respect her like it's you, no. and you just met her. No. Exactly. No. Shut up! You, you both are acting amateur. Like, with well, all due respect, bro, you and I got our own relationship. You my big brother, and you my boss, and I respect you both ways. And we had this conversation. I said this was going to happen. What happened? I said, this bitch was going to get some of your little Jamaican and at the end of the day, like, you're a mini duchess. Get the out of here. Like, Absolutely I'm not a not. Get right. She's not no little duchess. She's my employee. That's it. I'm done. I've had it. Evidently, this bitch kid got him by his nutsack. I only got him by the ear a little bit, and he might be deaf in that ear. So at the end of the day, I'm tired of being disrespected, because every time I'm talking to this you do not listen. Hey, what are you doing? Don't go nowhere. Wait, Don't tell me what to do. Get your Where the is you going? I'm done. I don't respect this I don't deserve this I'm going to finish this shot. Don't leave. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, ma'am, ma'am, okay. ma'am. I'm done with Black Ink. If you feel like the brand ambassador deserves more respect than the people that have held you down, whatever. You oh. sees I quit. I have a toast to make. Oh. To Walker! Yay! But I have another toast to make. Closing HLS was the hardest thing that I ever did. I had to be honest with myself and I learned from my mistakes. So let's just be honest and put it out there. Besides, you know at Black Ink, there's no secrets amongst family. A very special, very honest, very real toast. This toast is to privacy. It's to secrecy. It's to defiance. I know Scott can be over the top from time to time. But honestly, if the lights went out, I would think this is a scary movie. This picture scared me. What is this, yo? It has something to do with you and Miss Kitty. Whoever looks at vlogs, put your glass up to your face. Vlogs? Vlogs. I mean, I looked at a blog today. All right. But I don't usually look at vlogs. So. Shut your mouth. I guess I would go with a no. Shut the up this! So listen. Glass to your lips if everyone knows that Kitty's crying. What the? They can't leave you alone. Ryan, Ryan from Nine Wait, wait, wait! What the is going on here? Sky, really, girl? Come on now. Yes, I don't feel the need to address anything that's gossip and pure speculation. So you're denying it, huh? Were you not? at the mother tattoo convention with Ryan. I was at Essence Fest okay. by my damn self. Uh, I you. was there. But can Kitty, I... you can do what you want to do. It's your bitch. You can do what you want to do. Kids, Ryan from Nine Man, are you serious? <laughs> I thought Caesar and Ryan were friends. Like, Kitty, girl, what type of up love triangle are you in? I'm just kind of pissed she didn't tell me, but they do make a cute couple. Yeah. What I gotta say about me and Kit, Kit and me, Kit and Ryan, 
No comment. Yeah, who which one of you are? Steve or Ryan? Whoa, oh, you're not. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'm out of Y'all turning this conversation well, how left. How do you feel about that, though? Feel about what? How do you feel about, like, your old work messing with one of your brothers? Instead of talking about Kitty and Caesar, let's talk about Gems and Teddy. About what? What happened? He went to my shorty to talk to my shorty for what? And then you want to up what I got going on on the side for what? I never did that to you. Gems told me that Teddy went looking for him at 125th the other day, coming at him for feeling some type of way about our relationship. And since Sky wants to use Walt's dinner as a platform to air everybody's bull it's time that everybody knows the truth about what's really going on. What? That's what happened with, with the rap. That's my corn. I'm saying I'm the boss of this. Go to work. How many bitches you that walked in here? You told me myself that I was part of your pattern, and then I played your game, and you mad? And you mad? Yes, I know what she's talking about, and yes, I can tell Jen whatever the fuck I want. Watch your tone with me. You want to do all this bull for what? It's because he's basic and predictable. That's what he does. Nah, I went to your and I told him stop playing with me. And mind your business. All the DMs I get about your bull I never interjected. That's annoying. Who does that? For real. So I went to your and told both of you stop playing with me. That's not telling you don't give a about me, right? No. So why you did that? Not at all. Neither one of y'all go play with me. We're not ever been a plate man. Stop playing with me. I told you that already. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. I can't play with you. That's crazy though, right? It don't even matter, y'all. Kitty, where's Tati? She's, she's taking a break. And I'm so tired of the fact that nobody wants to acknowledge the fact that Teddy just does whatever the he wants to do. She better look for a new job now. How about that? Hi. How about that? Like, people forget who I am in this no. Because I sit on the couch and I be quiet, people forget who I am around this She's a dog. How about that? No, she's a dog. Like, she's bugging the out. See you later. You're hella Capricorn and Teddy is hella Whatever the case may be, it's about the fact of minding your business. I don't get in your business, so don't get in my business. I ain't worried about you, so stop worrying about me. For what? You don't care about me. You talk all this for me. You talk all this up. Tati and Teddy are missing the whole mother point. Love and hate are just one of the same coin, OK? If you really don't give a damn about what the other one is saying, then you would ignore it. But if you can't, and there's some love in that bitch swirled up in there some way, okay? He went up to my shorty. I didn't need to mind his business. Yo, whether I want to with him, it's none of your business. This is your weekend. Thank you. And mine's too. You know, many years ago when I started Black Ink. Yeah, oh, yo, my struggle. arm was getting tired, bro. I know. Huh? Bravo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, congratulations, Jay. Oh, you guys. Uh, and cheers to <laughs> Bay's way. Yeah. Hey, Bay. Oh, Richard and Nikki, you made it. Congratulations. I know Caesar doesn't want old here, but I couldn't exactly uninvite him. I told old that Caesar kind of didn't want him to come, but he insisted that he would come. But, you know, we're all adults, and it's my wedding, and we're going to behave. Just grab any two seats, guys. Why the f is he here? Caesar. Come on, I couldn't just uninvite Rich. You guys should make up. Y'all be fighting each other on Instagram like 12 year old kids. Man, I think I'm <laughs> window. That motherfucker got my number. You could have hit me before you went on Instagram. For you to say all that, that was some punk, bro. We know what it is, but you want to sit here and act like I ain't do for you. You could have came face to face like a man come holler at me. I'm giving this everything. And what do I get for that? 
him spreading lies on Instagram. On you know, my whole demeanor, like I ain't saved his life time after time after time again. Get him life, yo. Stop involving yourself with mine. At the end of the day, I don't owe you or her. Get the out of here. You disrespecting me. Don't do that. What? Y'all did not have nowhere to go. I opened the shop without y'all help. Y'all didn't do What happened is you are getting jealous. Yo, don't do that. Don't do that to me, my because I've really been there for you. What? You ain't been for me. You was too busy smoking crap. You snort that. I just wanted to say congratulations to you. Get the out of here. I don't know why you buy a coke into the party. You know what? You are really that person. Because you can sit there and bully him. We don't but know you. Can't you can't sit there and bully him and with me. You sit there and bully him and me. Maybe it was a bad idea to have Richard and Nikki here. <laughs> I honestly thought everybody would just put their petty <laughs> aside for my wedding. If I see these two motherfuckers in this house again, somebody's going home in the body bag. Go to Instagram, talk about me. What? I remember this begging for a job. Him sitting there crying, talking about he ain't got no money. But he gonna really sit there and say, I ain't do for? See, this is going off right now. And to be honest, this ain't cool. Like, we all supposed to be here for bays, wedding rehearsal, and all this other stuff. Caesar, you supposed to be the mother father the bride. So you better mother calm down now. Like, everybody's forgetting why we're here. Yeah, bro, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. I'm gonna just start stalling on bro. This is what I mean, Because I'm sitting here trying to mind my business. You raising your voice, he's standing up and all that. You know, like, I'm on go time, bro. Like, I could have punched him in his face. Like, he's wildin'. I just don't know how to play the situation because we all supposed to be brothers. But let me know if that is out the window. That's bro. out the window, bro. All right, that's what it is then. You could have came face to face like a man come holla at me, B. Don't come in. Hello, and sit. everybody. And Hi, Donna. Hi, Hi, guys. Bright to be. Hello, my love. Sorry, we're late. Jesus. Nice to see you. Why in the mood right now, Donna? Anyway, is this about Bay? That's the only reason I'm here. Whoa. Talk about bad timing right now. What's going on? Well, oh, just left. So, was here. It's just. Bad. This is bad right now. Nikki was with him. Yeah, got the whole vibe in here. Shifted to the right. Yeah, it's pretty stale in here. Bay, how you feeling? Um, this they feels crazy. This, they don't know how I don't know how I feel. Like, like, it was about to get us to just right. Oh, the Nikki just left, and Donna and Alex walked in. Right when Caesar's pissed the f off. I don't know how to fix this situation. And what y'all want to talk about? Since y'all here, y'all wanna talk to me about something? Um, I mean, I'd rather not. I'd rather just celebrate Bay and I her think beautiful we should. union. Because I'm still on the same energy, bro. Is, like, this, honestly, your, is this your thing, though? Your event? I don't give a We came here for Bay's wedding, and Caesar's being straight up rude, acting how he's acting. I don't care if he did just get in a fight with O. This is Bay's night, so he should just shut up. I'm gonna say it one more time. Do y'all have something to say with me? Caesar, why would I have something to say to you? First of all, you disrespected me. How? And this right here, he got to talk to me. You? He got to holler at me. Did I How disrespect, I disrespect you? you? Yeah, I bugging, yo. How we I not going to talk you? about this, yo. I don't know what the is going on with C's and him saying that I'm disrespecting him. I haven't done to this man. I haven't said to this man. I mean, is it enough that me and Donna's fired? Like, stop bringing me into your beef with my girl, bro. That's just corny. How do I disrespect you? Can you please answer that question? You disrespected me. I yeah. walked past you and said, this your fault with a smile on my face. We play with each other all day. I smushed Listen, you in your face, I look please. like I'm playing with y'all right now. I smushed you in your face? Yes, you did. When? I look like I need to argue with you. Wow. Y when did I smush you in your face? Yeah, why y'all playing with me? Ain't nobody playing with you. I did not hands on you. So like you need I'm to stop lying. Do y'all have something to say with me? First of all, like I said, I came here for my friend. Oh. 
and that's it. Y'all got something to say to me, man? Hey y'all, it's your boy Caesar, Black Ink CEO. And if you don't know me, the reason why is you ain't subscribed to VH1 YouTube channel. At the end of the day, you already know. That's the number one channel on YouTube. And if you don't got it, I guess you just watch your number two.